Hi Cooking Cronies, I'm Vicki and today I'm going to show you how to make a really super easy sort of, I don't know what to call it, I just made it up. Uh, it was inspired by Michelle over at Life Adventures in Keto. She did some twice baked potatoes and I sort of, I was going to try to do that and I just started throwing stuff in because I'm trying to shop from home. I'm getting rid of the stuff in my refrigerator and I, um, you know, that kind of thing. I'm clearing out. I'm decluttering my cupboards and my, my refrigerator before I, uh, and I'm planning my meals around what I already have. So this fit my meal plan. So I'm gonna show you how I put this together. It's, uh, I don't know what to call it, but it's almost like twice baked potato with a twist. It's more like a casserole. First, I wanna give a shout out to Michelle over at Life Adventures and Keto for inspiring this recipe today. I watched her video on her la her Labor Day collaboration and she was uh, doing twice baked potatoes and she grilled them out on her grill and she did an awesome job. <laughs> I would have given up. So um, thank you, Michelle. So what I did is I just took my two baked potatoes and I just chopped them into pieces and I put them in my little baking pan here and with just two baked potatoes, this could have served a family of four, seriously. It was so, uh, worked out so well. And I'm, I just totally made it up as I went, but it was based on the video that I had watched uh, her do. And so once I got all of my potatoes chopped up, I just crumbled my bacon in there. And I think I did maybe four pieces of, like four full pieces of bacon. These were folded into thirds, but about four pieces. And then I did a half a bag it's a 10 ounce bag, so I did five ounces of frozen spinach. Just threw that in there on top. And then I took a can of cream of mushroom soup. And I just put that on top. Now remember, I'm not having this. This is for John. So he was very happy with this. Um, I mixed that in there. And then um, I just stirred that all up. And then I did add just a little bit of milk. I don't know how much, maybe maybe an eighth of a cup of milk. It wasn't very much. Just to sort of uh, smooth, just give a little more uh, liquid uh, to the consistency to that cream of mushroom soup. And then I took a bag of cheddar cheese that I had in the fridge. Remember, I am shopping at home this month. And I just sprinkled the cheddar cheese right on top. And that's right out of the oven and it smells great and it looks great. So we'll go see what John thinks. So we have our salad steak and what are we calling this baked potato twice baked potato casserole so what do you think mr john hmm. delicious perfect let me know if you try that i would love to hear what you think we thought it was really good john enjoyed it it was super easy and it's really it's just really easy to do something like this and you know just get in your kitchen see what you've got in your refrigerator i happen to have some chopped spinach that i wanted to cook and you could add almost anything and you could, you know, you could add any kind of cream soup or anything like that too. It doesn't have to be mushroom. I totally made this up as I went and it worked. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great week and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be back here next Friday with a new video. Bye.